Excavations of new harbors, big dams, canals, passes through rugged mountainous terrain. These and other massive imaginative earth-moving projects may soon be ours. Created in seconds, with the tremendous energy of the peaceful atom. In the early 1960s, the U.S. government began using nuclear explosives for civilian projects under the name Project Plowshare. The Soviet Union was not far behind. In 1965, it conducted its first test of a so-called peaceful nuclear explosion. That crater, 100 meters deep and 430 meters wide, turned a dry riverbed into a new lake at the Semipalatinsk test site in Kazakhstan. But the peaceful nuclear project did not bring the benefits its planners intended. Today, residents of the nearby Kazakh village of Sarjal say that the so-called atomic lake is contaminated and that the pollution is seeping into the groundwater. They worry that since the end of the Soviet era, the test site has been virtually forgotten. Исследования этих проб на радиоактивность показали, что вода искусственных водоемов, созданных энергией ядерных взрывов, совершенно безопасна для человека. But the locals are certain that the water is not safe. Aitken Akambekov says it's not potable, and that the wind coming from the lake brings a terrible odor. More than 40 years after the creation of the atomic lake, there are no wild animals or birds on its shores. In the late 1960s, Soviet scientists tried to breed fish there, with poor results. 90% of the fish died. Villagers say there are high levels of heart disease, birth defects, and other health problems in Sarjal. For them, the reason is clear. And they say that the Kazakh government has done nothing to help those who live near the former nuclear testing site.